Are you serious? What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Joshua Davis. So two years ago, I was able to propose to the love of my life, the girl of my dreams, Sherielle. So I'm here right now, asking in front of everybody, if you would do me the honor of being my wife. And shortly thereafter, we started getting into wedding planning mode, as most people do. We got started, we started making plans, and then sure enough, COVID hit. Once COVID hit, it took us another year and a half to finally be able to have our dream wedding. And over the course of that almost two years, of course, there were plenty of surprises, plenty of things that happened. Some of the surprises, though, were actually planned by us, and other ones were just complete shocks that kind of ruined all of our plans. The best surprise, though, was one that I was not expecting at all. So this surprise came about three weeks after we had put the down payment down on our wedding. We had made it official. We had given the venue our first payment. We were locked in at this point, right? Once you put the down payment down, anybody that's had a wedding or wedding planner, y'all know it is official. There's this new sense of pressure. So like we were in it, right? It's a Sunday about three weeks after that. I wake up in the morning and Sherry L's just not there. Like that does not happen, y'all, okay? Like every time I wake up, I'm usually the one to wake up first. She might get up and be restless in the morning, but like I will get out of bed first, nine times out of 10, you know? I get up and I'm looking around the apartment. She's nowhere around the apartment. And I'm just like, huh, I'm not tripping on it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be chill. Even though I was a little nervous. I just kind of get into my morning routine and then she comes home and then she comes in and does this. Cause when we were walking by that store, I mean, Shoe Palace, and you're like, oh, I want everything. So I just wanted to get you something while I went on my Thank walk. Thank you, babe. Do you like him? Yeah, I do. These were some ones I saw, and I was like, I might need to get some, but it's the wrong size. Because it's Nikes? No, yeah, it's 12 and a half for Nike. I tried to get those, but I was like, well, maybe they'll fit them because they're different ties. So even as I rewatch it right now, a part of me is like, damn, bro, relax, homie. Like, you got a gift right now. Just, just be excited. But I was like, but babe. Like this, this is not the right size, you know? Cause the funny part is, is that we had been over this a few times. I had told her what the size of shoes was. I feel like fairly recently, she'll give me like a detailed list of things she likes in case I want to surprise her. I try to do the same. And so she had been forgetting this, the shoe size that I need. So I was like, I told her before, like 12 and a half, 12 and a half, 12 and a half. So when she came back with the 13s, I was like, babe, babe. These ain't gonna work, these ain't gonna work. I love them, but they ain't gonna work, you know? But then I was just like, yo, they're so dope. I don't even care right now. Let's do this thing. And then this, they have like I, some kind of- I, I can make these work. Babe. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. Thank you. This is not the surprise though. They gave this to me because it was like a promotional thing they had there. So I was like, but it's for guys, so. <laughs> they had some like promotional, Yeah, they were doing like a partnership with them. If you listen to her voice right now though, like you can tell she's talking so fast. She always does this when she's nervous. She's like, like almost like she's out of breath. She's so excited. And that should have been my first clue that something was up. When she tells me that Shoe Palace and Hallmark had a collaboration, like a col this is a Hallmark Shoe Palace collab. I was like, what? But. I decided to go ahead and open the box as she asked me to, and uh, and then this happened. Uh, yeah, they had like a whole setup. I think it's the at other shoe way. palace. Yeah. Are you serious, <laughs> baby? Are you serious? Take him out. Baby, are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> oh my, what the hell, baby? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what? What? What, are you serious? <laughs> I, I can't even tell y'all, man. I've never, I never had a surprise like that in my life. That was easily the greatest surprise I've ever had. Uh, that's one of the best moments, the happiest moments of my entire life. I immediately just like melted inside. You know what I'm saying? I, it was, I, I can't describe the moment. Um, it, it, it felt like, it felt like when I first 
fell in love with Sherielle. It's like you feel like like God sees you and God is like meeting you to to bring everything that you've hoped and dreamed together and it's like it all hits you in one moment of like oh man i'm so loved our, our relationship our, our marriage is so blessed we are so like we're, we're we're right where we're supposed to be and and i don't know it just it, it just felt like a lifetime of things that timing might have been off and this didn't work out and you're always unsure and and always worried and you know to be honest like I, you know, I wasn't sure if I was able to have kids. You know, it's a thing when you wait a little bit longer, you're just not sure, right? I think both of us kind of felt that way. We weren't chipping on it and we weren't even really trying to have kids yet. Like we were kind of trying, not trying, you know what I'm saying? It was like, well, we'll see. We just won't not try. So, and then here we are and it was just, it was everything. Baby. I want to get shoes. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love when she says that she I got you shoes because that little baby's gonna have some big shoes to fill. And uh it was uh she she just knows the things to say. Can I just tell you? She's so sweet and so thoughtful that way to even think that through, you know? Um and I just think about her finding out that morning by herself in the bathroom and then taking a moment by herself to then go and be so thoughtful as to go out and get me a gift to bring that home to surprise me in a special way. She could have just come in and thrown the thing on the bed and said, babe, guess what, you know, but she took the time to be so thoughtful. And uh, it was, it's, man, it's, that, that, that's my lady. That's, that's my wife right there, man. And so now here we are at this stage when we find this amazing news out, we are now about three and a half, four months away from our wedding officially. So this obviously changes everything that we had planned going into the wedding. I mean, not everything, but just what are we going to do? Are we going to tell everybody? Are we going to? Because there's a list of things, secrets that we're keeping at this moment right now that we were hoping to reveal at the wedding and now there's even more secrets there. So we're just like, what do we do? Are we, should we just tell people? Should, or should we try to hold on to the secret? We're trying to do the math, like how pregnant will you be at the wedding? Can we pull this thing off? So it just leads to a whole other adventure for us to, to dive right into going into the wedding. And I'll be able to tell you guys all about that and give you more details because I'm going to break it down over a series of videos of our wedding planning because it was, it was a crazy two year journey to get there. We finally got there, but the last three and a half months were probably the craziest of the entire time. This whole surprise then le leads to how we do the gender reveal. And that is a whole other thing by itself with our wedding, with everything involved. It ended up being such a cool thing. I can't wait to show you guys more of it, how it all came together. And even the room I'm sitting in right now, this is like a big empty office right now because we just moved into a new place because life is changing it's coming fast and it's all good things we are constantly leveling it up god is good y'all our lives are so blessed and abundant right now we are grateful for all of this and so i'm just glad i get to share it with y'all hopefully you guys appreciate it this blessing of getting to to have a child with the love of my life with my soulmate is something that i wish on anybody who could ever ask for it anybody who's ever you know dreamt of that or hoped for that i hope you all get to enjoy that and feel what this feels like because it really is the greatest thing you could ever imagine. I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you for checking out the channel. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notifications. I'm going to keep putting out more stuff. Thank you guys for being here. We'll talk at you soon. Peace.